What happens if you spend 8, 10, 12 hours a day probing into the nature of your mind from a first-person perspective, and your mind, with all of its human thoughts, perceptions, memories, and so forth, is calmed to the point of silence. You comment in your book, Sean, silence is possible, but your heart keeps on beating. Fine, but withdraw your awareness from your body. Withdraw it entirely into the mind, which happens when you're dreaming, when you're going to deep sleep. Let your mind shut down in terms of all of the explicit cognitive activity, emotional and so forth. And what has been discovered, and I'll just say has been discovered, is that you move beyond that whole dimension, which is the only dimension that modern science knows about, the conscious mind, the unconscious mind, that's it. You move beyond both of those. You penetrate through both of those to an underlying, now I'm going to use the word underlying, underlying continuum of consciousness that's purely mental, but it's not human. There's nothing human about it. It has no gender, no, history, no personal history. It's a simple continuum of cognizance, a flow of consciousness.